In this exercise, you'll start with a different procedural texture. It works fine, but I want you to know about an important debugging technique. Since you can't put breakpoints inside a shader, it's hard to know what's going on. The answer is to send various shader computations to the screen itself. In other words, instead of putting your final result into GLFrag color, put these other intermediate values. In fact, you have three whole color channels to use and view on the screen. Your task is to send the following program values, diffuse, U gain alpha, and attenuation to each of these channels. All three of these values is in the proper range of 0 to 1, so need no adjustment. Here's what things will look like when you're done. Under Material Control in the user interface is a slider called Gain Alpha. Sliding it will change the green channel to match the value selected. One bit to notice in the code is that there's a subroutine called Compute Bias. It's fine to use subroutines inside shaders, and they have a C language type of interface. 